call upon stage three very special women. Uh, first up, group captain Shakti Sharma, second wing commander Deepika Mishra, and third squadron leader Sindhu Vijay Reddy. Now, group captain Shakti Sharma is the first woman officer of the Indian Air Force to become group captain in all three services. Uh, she was also the first woman officer to command a Senate school entrusted with divergent roles at various training establishments, field units, commander headquarters and air headquarters for her untiring dedicated services. She's been commended twice by the chief of air staff. Squadron leader Sindhu Reddy files, he, flies helicopters for the Indian Air Force. She commanded the Indian Air Force marching contingent in the Bastille Day Parade 2023 that took place in Paris and the contingent in the Republic Day Parade 2023 to win the best marching contingent by popular choice. She's been awarded the chief of army staff commendation. Now, Wing Commander Deepika Mishra made history as the first female Air Force officer to receive a gallantry medal. She was awarded the Vayu Seva Medal for gallantry by the President of India on Independence Day in 2022 and recently received the award from the Air Chief Marshal of the Indian Air Force at an investiture ceremony in New Delhi. In August 2021, Wing Commander Deepika Mishra was assigned the task of carrying out humanitarian assistance and disaster relief operations following flash floods in northern Madhya Pradesh. Now, despite adverse weather conditions, including strong winds and the approaching night, she was the sole individual to arrive at the disaster site that same evening. Her courageous actions and dedication to duty helped rescue 47 individuals, and as a result, she became the first female Air Force officer to be honored with the Gallantry Award, the Vayu Seva Medal for Gallantry, which she received at an investiture ceremony in New Delhi from Air Chief Marshal V.R. Chaudhary. Over to you, Shireen. Well, thank you very, very much for being here. And, uh, you know, ladies and gentlemen, this is a particularly special moment for me. Uh, my father was in the Indian Air Force. He retired as, uh, uh, from the Indian Air Force. So I've spent my whole life on Air Force bases watching uh, men, because there were no women at that point in time, men going up on fighter jets and in, in the uniform. So I can safely say that I always will bleed blue. Uh, but it's, it's so lovely to see, uh, to see these officers here this evening. And thank you so very much for joining us. I want to come across to each one of you, uh, and I will start with you. Uh, you know, what, to your mind, uh, needs to change to ensure that we see this as a viable career option for women? More and more women are now joining the three forces, whether it's the Army, the Navy, or the Air Force. But what do you believe can be done to ensure that it becomes an option for more and more women? What would your message be to parents who are watching? Uh, because it's not a career alone. It's the way of life. So that's very important. Any of the defense service you join, uh, it gives you confidence, it gives you sense of pride, not only for your own self, your whole family lives along with you. And you are supporting the national cause. At the same time, you are you know, building a career for your own self. Your family is feeling uh, really good about it. And uniform obviously gives you that a sense of pride because it's not a piece of cloth what you've done. It is my skin. It is what we are. So yeah. that's all. You know, you've, you've said it so perfectly. It is who you are. It is, as you said, your, your skin, and it is that sense of duty that drives and defines exactly. each one of you. Uh, Sindhu, let me ask you, you know, what was it like uh, marching uh, as we were watching here on our television screens, and I'm sure millions around the world were watching as well. What was that feeling for you, walking for the country? So, uh, firstly, when I was given the opportunity that I'll be representing my country on an international event, international forum, it gave me like immense pressure, you know, being part of uh, the Indian Air Force, I ne never really thought I'll represent my country one day on an international forum. And uh, receiving that salute from our Honorable Prime Minister and the uh, President uh, at France, it was a great and a memorable experience. You know, the people of France receive you very well, especially since from the Indian Armed Forces, they look up to you, the cheer that we get, it was 
very incomparable to the Republic Day parade that we celebrate here. Really? Yeah, I mean, yes, <laughs> they were really excited uh, looking at us and uh, the style that we marched. It was a wonderful experience of a lifetime for me, I'd say. Yeah, I would imagine it was wonderful for all of us to watch you. Uh, but uh, so you're saying that the chair was incomparable in comparison to what you've experienced here, right? It, it was comparable. That's okay, it was comparable. Yeah. okay, it was comparable. Okay, it was comparable. Okay, fair, fair enough. I want to come to you now. And as Shruti just uh, mentioned, uh, you are, of course, uh, the recipient of a gallantry award, the first woman Indian Air Force officer to receive that. And so, ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause uh, for that. What is the feeling when you go up in the air through adverse conditions where you don't know what you're going to be faced with, what the challenges will be? Uh, what drives you to go through that? As you mentioned, that uh, such kind of uh, operations which we are supposed to take in adverse weather conditions and the places where we do not know the unknown terrain we have to go. So uh, I guess uh, the only thing which uh, helps us to go through is the training which has been imparted to us. The kind of training which has been imparted that gives us the confidence that uh, yes, we can go through it and that is the, uh, the trust on our training and also the uh, command over the aircraft which we are having. So we know that what all is possible and what not. So there comes the decision making in that there is a thin line whether to go ahead or to come back within that time. So that decision making also that has been a part of uh, our uh, whatever we do day in and out. So that uh, everything uh, what we do for so many years has resulted in me uh, successfully completing this mission. Well, you know, uh, yes, I, I imagine that in a split second you've got to make that choice and it sometimes, uh, you know, you don't really know and sometimes technology is not your best friend either when you're up there as we have seen in many cases. But if you were to, to send out a message here to young women, to parents who are watching, etc., what, what is it that you would tell them? I would tell them uh, that doors are open and you just have to see that the opportunity is there and you just have to grab it. Nothing can stop you. Nothing can it. stop you. Uh, I, I want to, you know, for you as well, uh, coming into the Air Force, and I know that over the years, changes have been made to ensure that it becomes much more inclusive for women. What's been the, the hardest part of, of being part of the Air Force? And, and what, do you think, what do you think has changed over the course of your tenure? Uh, I have joined almost three decades back. So, uh, pleasure is to see the young ones who are younger to my child. They are there now, officers. In fact, last week I was meeting and few of them were younger to my son. And uh, it certainly uh, feels good when they say that uh, we were inspired by, uh, you know, pioneer batches, like they have seen me and my other colleagues. So it is a pleasure to see them around and um, changes, yes, certainly it's for betterment. Uh, whatever we were, we have evolved both technologically, infrastructurally, and uh, obviously we are more inclusive. The number has already gone mm. up. You are seeing all of us around. She's already VM gallantry. Yes. Yes. We have everyone around and um, the Air Force is marching forward. The Air, yeah. Force, the Air Force is certainly marching forward. I'm going to close with you. Uh, you know, today as you stand here on this stage and as we just heard there, uh, that Many of you are inspirations for a generation of young women who are looking at making this a possible career choice. Uh, uh, what's been for you individually the biggest learning from this experience so far? So uh, Air Force has literally given me every kind of exposure that I could have ever imagined as a young ordinary child I was uh, from South India, you know, dreaming of uh, looking at skies and flying sometime. Uh, like who, I was having... Who inspired you? Uh, okay, <laughs> so uh, I, I, I'm from Bangalore, so there is this air show that happens yeah. there. So my mom, mother's colleague's friend was an Air Force pilot, and uh, when he used to fly, he used to wave at us when he would take off from one of the runways in the uh, Yalanka base. So uh, that is what inspired me to be in the Air Force in the first place. Uh, like I was just continuing, I have my superiors here who already molded ways and they've cleared a lot of barriers for me to, you know, march forward like um, I'm just projected. And I'm really happy that I can, you know, take the bastion forward and uh, uh, take it in a much uh, better position today. And uh, I'm also uh, uh, put in quite a bit of service. For people who are joining in right now, I'll say uh, the 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 force is all yours there's nothing stopping you i mean if you think there's something that you know as a woman you'll not be able to do please let me tell you otherwise 
there's an every opportunity, there's everything that is open for you and you, all you have to do is just go there and be, do and do, uh, be there and do what you want to do. Absolutely. Yes. May the force always be with you. Yeah. Thank you very, very much, Thank you so much for joining us here this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause. For See, let's, let's do a standing ovation for the Indian Air Force. Thank you, officers. It's a big salute to all of you from the future female forward team. Thank you so much. You make us immensely proud.